Today we have the battle of the Windsors, the big boys, the cubic inches, the Windsinators. So both these monsters are boosted 351 um, based engines. We have at Jimmy 95 GT, that's J I M M Y 95 GT versus at Dwayne's D U A N E S Z. Those are our two contenders. Let's get into it. What's up, my people, and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel. Today we have our second versus matchup, and it's all about those Windsors. Up first, we have at Dwayne's and his stroked out 408 Cobra. Let's take a look at his setup. So that's Dwayne's Cobra, and it sports a uh, built for 408 motor. I'm not sure if it's aftermarket block or not, but the block is fitted with some trick flow heads. I'm not sure if it's um, T ported or some 11 R's, but he does have a custom cam and a trick flow R intake to go along with that. Boost is provided um, via a Vortec TI supercharger kit along with some meth injection. The transmission is a BCA um, automotive Darren built for our 70W. I love Darren's um, built transmissions. I've had him um, help me build mine, but let's get back to um, Dwayne's. His car has a, a Team Z suspension that allows him to dial things in on the street and at the track. Tuning is handled by a Holly EFI system the wheel and tire combination consists of some SVE drag wheels and some Mickey Thompson Pro, um, some of the ET Pros. So this is a very clean um, white Cobra. Um, he uses this for grudge racing, so he uh, told me not to disclose his um, horsepower number or his uh, ETs. So trust me, this is a very capable street and track car. His opponent is at Jimmy 95GT. Let's take a look at his car. So at Jimmy95, he's sporting a at Fort Strokers built 363. Like Woody's the guy, big shout out to him. With a uh, trick flow 205 11R heads and a custom cam. The boost is kicked in thanks to a uh, Vortec YSI supercharger and some meth injection. The suspension, is front and rear UPR components with a uh, six point roll cage. Wheels are the Weld RTSs and he's rolling on uh, Mickey Thompson ET Pros also in the rear. The uh, transmission is a T56 Magnum with a built 8.8. .8. Tuning is done uh, via a Holly EFI system. So that's Jimmy's setup. Let's go ahead and review this. Looking at these two vehicles, you know, they're pretty similar. Like one has more displacement than the other. One is an automatic, one is a manual. So the question for this versus battle is, which one of these monsters would you want for a street strip car? Like this is a hard decision because like, both of these cars are almost clones of each other. You know, um, they're, they're both white, 
351 based engines. Both are built for street track action. You know, um, both of them are caged, almost kind of similar setup in the rear. Um, it really comes down to preference on this. So this is what I need y'all to do is just um, leave a comment and let me know which one of these cars you're gonna roll with. Also, you can find both these cars on their Instagram page. Um, if you want more detail on these cars, head over to the pages. They have a ton of pictures and information. If you really want more detailed information on their setup, you can also read my write-up on both these cars on my Instagram page at SN95Power. And um, before I get out of here, I just want to say I, I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the channel so far. You know, this is a fairly new channel. I'm consistently trying to do things different and just put more spotlight on the SN95 Mustangs out here. I feel like our platform is underappreciated and there's not enough um, media out here on it. So I'm, I'm really trying my hardest to pump out some fresh and new stuff out here. Also, um, I'm starting to get my own personal car ready for Ponies in the Smoky. So you'll see some more videos in regards to that coming out on this channel. I just um, appreciate y'all again. I want to thank you for your time and God bless.